Oh, what's up, Burima? It's my you here. Welcome to my you know creations. How are you doing? Girl? This is season one, episode two of Telling T. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, girl, today, 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 we got Jocelyn, aka Coquelin, aka Chanel Cora Ben Quartz. Aka okay, the whole turned into a pimp versus Amber. Amber alerts. Amber alerts. Amber is very alerts. Okay. So yesterday, July 24th of 2024, I don't know who Mr. Tell decided to leak their little wrestle and tussle on College Hill. But baby, I'm here to talk about the talk about. Because I'm always here to talk about the talk of problems. You won't get messy. So, wash your these nails, grab your tea, and get messy right with me. So, this little Russell and Tussle and Fumble surfaced last year on a show called College Hill Celebrity Edition. But celebrities go to college for free. Well, regular people like us have to pay thousands among thousands to even go to college. It's an HBCU, but my non-color folks is basically a black college. Usually black people go to. And they do whatever they do on there on that show. So Jocelyn and Amber episode popped off by them seemingly being in history class and not just any old history class. A black one. Since it's a black college, we gotta talk about some black history. It seems to be a Halloween theme. Coquelin has half her face painted as the Joker, like the joke that she is, and other clowns in the classroom. In some way, somehow, some who sugar book princess puts her attention on Amber, Amber Rose. Because if she's not snorting, she gotta find something to pick on and somebody to pick on. And Jocelyn basically saying, Amber, you black, you want to be a white girl, you mix just like me. And she felt as if Amber, being on Dalmatian, Amber feels as if she has to cater to both her black side and her white side. And she doesn't cater to anything black. Basically, she says she needs to pick a side and pick the black side because the black side is the best side. Amber is saying that's not your business. That does not concern you. Let me tell you what I identify as. You shall not be identifying me. Jocelyn is saying you black. Amber is saying my father is white though. Basically, it was a racial debate gone wrong. Or should I say gone right? Because... Jocelyn still doing all this yap, 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 yap. <laughs> With her broken English. After all these years, she still never got that fix. Mm. Amber calmly got up. She went and popped a lock of her gum. Jocelyn is talking about some cry, baby, cry, baby. Goo, goo, ga, ga, wow, 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 wow. Amber said, I'm going to give you something to cry about without saying a thing. They did all this hyping us up just to not show us anything. But all oh, that changed as of yesterday. And I want to roll the clip of the real spill without getting demonetized before I can even get monetized, copyright, all that bad stuff. And I'm going to come back with my thoughts and opinions. So enjoy the clip. I know they happy they came to class that day because as you see, Johnson, she was too busy 
trying to grab the non-existent hair that Amber got and up pulling her headband and her jacket. Meanwhile, Amber was swinging and punching Jocelyn, giving Jocelyn the big business as she deserves. Because on this show, she's really a mean girl and a bully like she always does. <sighs> she's bullying a poor girl, Parker, locked her out their room that they were sharing. And she basically told New York that she's weird for having a dog and her dog deserved to die. Her dog too. But I said, okay, and Johnson, she used to be that girl back in the day. Okay, back in Love and Hip Hop days, she used to be very entertaining. She still is now, but it's like nowadays, recent years, watching her on Johnson Cabaret. She's been very much so turning me off. She always be belittling girls, slamming people on their necks, putting hands on people unnecessary. And they just be allowing it, girl. It's one thing watching somebody disrespect each other. It's entertaining, but you full blown disrespect for somebody. He's not giving you that big pressure back. It's very much so bullying and it's unacceptable and it's not right. And she had that coming and then some. Okay, I really felt as if if they wasn't right there to break up that fight, okay, Jocelyn would have had some bumps and some bruises and some leak, leak, leaking to do. Because she can't deny that whoop, whoop, whooping she received. Her pride is too big. She will never admit that she got the sugar boots knocked out her nose. Because according to her, she can't lose a fight. And she could as soon as she could beat up the whole world. And that's not talking about after the fact. She made it seem as if she just did Amber and yeah, she did her best. That's for the clip. Somebody tried to attack me and I motherfucking put their motherfucking head through that glass. <laughs> they, they, you know, the, the, my other homie called me. He was like, bitch, you know the motherfucking, uh, you know the, the, the stain from her head is still under? Yeah. I was like, y'all niggas ain't wiped this shit down? <laughs> Fake ass niggas. So <laughs> she, tried to, she, tried to, she tried to run up on me because we was in, we was in our literature class, right? She said she, now we already know it's a girl. <laughs> I ain't gonna be finding no niggas. <laughs> yeah, 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 I ain't gonna never find no man now. Jocelyn, you I'm, guys living together? Yes, I'm in the house. Yes, I have been there. Oh, what that bitch? Bitch, I feel like it's. I don't care who you feel like it is. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I feel like it's. Yeah. I don't see them in the same place. Listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And every time I see that bitch, I'm gonna drive that pussy asshole. Every time I see that bitch right now, I'm, I'm gonna stop this shit, go beat that bitch ass, and come back here. Every motherfucking. T every chance. Because you know it was on some hate shit. Bitch, I'm giving my speech in college. Why is you worrying about what the fuck I'm saying, bitch? If you was to start thinking like me, you'll be somebody, ho. Mm. No, Jocelyn. If everybody start thinking like you, they will be a couple gold ahead. Well, obviously, violence is the answer when it's not. Okay? And she never mentioned the fact that she instigated a whole fight with Amber. She made it seem like as if she was giving a speech and it had nothing to do with her. Okay. And I do kind of understand both sides because on Coca Lee's perspective, she said as if, you know, you can't really pick and choose your black and white side was beneficial for you because full-blown black people you can't just go on other sides when times are tough okay because if you're black you got to be black when people are discriminating you you got to be black when people are crazy when everybody wants to be you like a lot of people want to cosplay as black for the aesthetic reasons nails earrings etc etc Instead of actually thinking about the history of it. I don't want to get too deep around here. But I don't know what I'm saying. And on Amber's perspective. It's like. You know it's like. It's not really of Jocelyn's business. Like she, Jocelyn was picking and poking at her. It's like if she want to be. A white girl, if she want to carry to mostly her white side, let that be. That's not any of your concern. That was not her place 
to bring that up. You see, ain't nobody else was talking about it besides Coquelin. So I was going to wait for this plane to go past, but it's taking too long. So if y'all heard, y'all heard. But yeah, Jocelyn was literally telling Amber to her face like, you're black. It's like, how you going to tell somebody else what they are? Like, why are you so passionate about somebody else's, somebody else's business? They're just not sure business. And I was like, let her tell the story. Let her tell it. According to her, everybody is hating on her because she is just so beautiful. Oh, my bad. That's the understatement. She is just so gorgeous. She is so breathtaking, so Stunning, the most beautiful, um, gorgeous person you ever lay your eyes on. And she's just like a walking goddess, angel, princess, queen. And just everybody wants to look like her. Everybody wants to be her. And just, she does no wrong. She does no wrong. But in reality, she's always disrespectful to everybody. And just, she's shocked when someone's disrespectful back to her. When someone gives her back that big pressure. She just like people to just bow down to her and kiss and rub her stinking 15 uh, 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 size shoe. Shoe size feet. I mean, a mess. She always talking about somebody cry baby, cry baby. Um, last time I checked, she's always throwing the crying. game. It's like, girl, she projecting out your own feelings. Bro, the clip, bro, the clip. You will not be able to move forward as a student here at Alabama State University. <laughs> Why am I being penalized? You say Every time you That's get mad, stuff. and every time something don't go your way, the first thing you say is, I'm going to take you back to the stop. strict club. You would never send me back to the strict club because I'm not going back. What was that about? Cry baby, cry baby, cry baby. What was that? Um, okay. Okay. But, anyways. <laughs> it, every time you like. A famous person. They always prove you why you can't like nobody because they always forget where they came from. Forget they humble beginnings. They become very uh, egotistic, very just big headed, and nothing but just coking and air in there. It's just, it's terrible. All right, guys, I feel like I said enough. I said what I said, and what I said is what I said. Okay? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below who won. That Amber knocked some sense into Jocelyn's head. And Stevie made to send her back to the strip club a long time ago. Or did Jocelyn knock some blackness into Amber? All right. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I appreciate you. Okay. Like, always, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend before we be friends. Check out my last Tell ET video. I will leave that in the playlist and the description box. All that good stuff. And, oh, you also follow me at my internet creations. YouTube, TikTok, Thriller. Instagram, stay blessed, never stress. Toodles.